Here we go, everybody. We're back for another episode of Let's Play Maniac Mansion. Last time we uh, stole Weird Al's package <laughs> and um, got some stamps off of it. And now we are about ready to break Razor out of the dungeon. Unfortunately, when Weird Ed came downstairs, he locked the door. The dick. So, we need to get Jeff. Still in the parlor. No, he's still upstairs. That's right, I had to duck back in the door because the doorbell rang. Enough time should have passed now that he'll have left. So now we head back down to the main living main living room entrance area, foyer if you will. And we have to make our way to the parlor, which is over here on the right. Anyway, yeah, so I mean, I mean, this playing this game bring, is bringing back so many memories. Sitting in my room, about God, I don't even know, um, probably about five or six years old at the latest when I first started playing on a Commodore sixty four, and uh, my cousin used to make copies of all the games and uh, mail them to me or give them to me when we'd be over there for holidays. And I just always had so many awesome games for it. I was I was on it as much as I could be. I just had so much fun. And like I said, this was one of the first ones I remember playing. Now, if we play that tape, turn your headset down. Because here we go. Now we can turn that off. And normally you could just leave the cassette tape there, but we're going to need that. So I'm amazed he can walk over a broken chandelier with barefoot. But, you know, whatever. And we got the old rusty key. Now we need that down in the basement. But this is the basement door. As you can see, there's no handle here, dude. So let's get Dave. And we will... I can't even do a cursor swirl because I have no cursor. We won't get Dave because I'm a jackass and didn't open the front door. Sorry about this, everybody. I'm stupid. I pointed it out, too. I made a point of pointing it out so I wouldn't forget. Anyway. We open the front door. We're going to get Jeff in position here. And switch back to Dave. Who is going to come inside? I really wish I could leave that speed load on. And Dave is going to push this gargoyle. I think pulling it works too. Yep. And ta da! Now Jeff can go in here. Actually, I think I can use my F keys to switch kids. once it finishes loading again. Yep, I can. Switch back to Dave, who can now go this way. Jeff can get out of the um, basement just by walking to the door now. It'll, he'll push, he'll pull it open. There's a handle on the other side or something. I don't know. 
But now that Dave is safely tucked away, actually, we really don't have to worry about that anymore because um, the doorbell won't be ringing again. There's the light switch. And here's the holy shit. It is a nuclear reactor in the basement. Made in Chernobyl, dude. It's a bad omen. Radioactive slime. Yuck. I'm not touching that. But we need this silver key. No, don't open it. Pick it up. And then we can use the old rusty key on this door. And once the loading screen finishes again, voila! Razor is no longer in the dungeon. We are now back on the track we should have been on two episodes ago. Now, I need to switch back to Jeff. I said I need to switch back to Jeff. Because we need to give Razor this cassette tape. And hmm. Well, actually, well, no, I've kind of screwed myself, haven't I? No, I haven't. It's fine. It's fine. Don't give. Just go. No, we're good. I can see what I see. What I can do. I need to go back up the stairs. And uh, this was one of the things I did with this game, was just experiment with all the different party combinations and try and find alternate solutions. This was one of the first games with multiple endings to it. And uh, all of them were pretty hilarious. This isn't, this isn't the, the funniest ending, I think. It's just one of the possible ones you can get that I think gets overlooked. Now we need to go down off of the porch and pull these bushes. And since he worked out with the Hunko Matic TM, we can open the grate. Easy. Whoa. Now we go back inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we need to go all the way back to that gray door that we couldn't open earlier. And that will take a minute, but that's okay. While he's doing that movement, this was one of the reasons I am glad that I remembered I can switch with my F keys because I can assign a movement and then switch to one of the other party members. And um, I don't think they'll transition doorways though, which is kind of annoying, but I guess it's just a limitation of the, of the hardware at the time. It's not too big a deal though. We can just switch back and forth be all tactical rescue and shit. Hopefully I don't crash the uh, program with all the switching. But we need to get her down in that grating that Jeff just opened.
do 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 Come on. But yeah, like I was saying, this was a game that did a lot of firsts. It was one of the first games with multiple endings, one of the first games with cutscenes. It, it did a lot of things and really uh, revolutionized adventure gaming at the time. And I'm, I need to stop making the same points over and over again. I can't just can't think of anything else to talk about. I'm traversing these dining room tables of doom. And then I fall silent during the loading screens, which are the most uninteresting part naturally. Because, you know, I'm backwards like that. So we're going to unlock this door with the silver key. And it opens automatically, so I just wasted a freaking bunch of time. Well, not really, but, you know. And then we are in the backyard. And what we need to do back here is first we need to fill our glass jar with pool water. And then we need to switch back to razor and this is going to be one of those times when you may want to turn down your headset just a little bit it's probably not going to be as bad as I remember it that great by the way is where the developer fluid of course drips down uh, if you knock it off of that shelf we want to open the water valve. And then we need to switch quickly to Jeff. Because we have just drained the pool. This is a problem. Because there is a nuclear reactor in the pool. We need to quickly pick up this radio because alarms are going to start going off. And I probably should have saved because you can really screw yourself here. Oh no! The pool is empty again! We're going to have another meltdown! Another? How can I take over the world when I'm on a budget? Why have I turned into Mr. Burns? I always get stuck with cheap equipment. Boy, is the meteor going to be pissed. Dr. Fred, shut up. Tentacle! Front and center! Yes, sir, Dr. Fred, sir. Purple tentacle at your disposal, sir. Quick! Go check out the reactor. Yes, sir. Oh, that noise is really going to get to me. But, we're going to have some fun while we can. First, we're going to pick up the radio. Actually, this is... Yeah, hold on. Should have saved after I did that. But what is this? Read the red button. Do not press under any circumstances. Sir... I can't. I can't do voices. Wow. 
Do not press under any circumstances, dude. And purple tentacles going to the wrong place. Hmm. There's no one here. And he turns off the lights. Because we need to save electricity even in the face of total meltdown. Well, I mean, there's a big red button that says don't push. You know we just gotta push the damn button. And we have to put inside one. Uh, I forgot what the keyboard command for that was. Yeah. And then move that there. And uh, I think uh, we made an oops. Oh no, everything's fine. Nothing, no, nothing went wrong at all. Oh. Oh. The house. And everyone. Within a five mile radius. Have been destroyed. in a massive nuclear meltdown. The game is over. And that's where we're going to leave things for this video. See you next time, everybody.